what we're looking at here is grazing infrastructure on a beef farm and essentially the importance of trying to allocate grass to cattle to get better grass utilization and management. Uh, the first thing that was done with this farm was that it was limed and fertilized and tried to increase the P and K which was, was low. And then we introduced a paddock system. When it, uh, there's 25 acres in paddocks, essentially there's a hectare in each, each paddock while well, allowing for roadways and everything else, there's nine paddocks with two and a half acres roughly in them. And so once we have the paddocks in place, then we talk about receding and uh, putting in a new sward. The 60 bulls on, on the grazing platform. The other thing then is that once we have the paddocks in place, is identifying where the water should be, in, uh, water traps should be placed. And where a lot of people puts them on the edge of a paddock, we put them in the middle of the paddock so that we can split these paddocks afterwards. Just also in terms of uh, the type of stock that we're grazing on the block here is uh, the uh, Frisian bull calves at 200 kilos. Um, the, the beauty of these stock that they'll do absolutely no damage. This is can be a marginal farm enough. In terms of actual uh, poaching damage, it's key that we avoid that if possible, if at all possible. And as you can see, that's not happening here. The other thing is that just getting access to the paddocks uh, is, is very important. We have two tracks left for cattle to get in and up to the main pen. So we have a, a track up here and the, there's three paddocks on the top, three in the middle and three in the bottom with two access roads to the yard from both sides. Um, and on each of those paddocks, we also have uh, multiple access. So there's four openings in each paddock. So at times of the year where you don't want to do damage and letting cattle in and out, you have the access of the four paddocks.